Well, as you can see, we're picking up right where we left off. Didn't uh, make any kind of intros or outros for this because I didn't know I was going to make two videos from it. So anyways, this is part two of this. All three of these videos, last three videos I posted was on March 4th. Water's pretty stained. Like I said, I caught a little bit better quality fish today. I mean, in this video, I caught a little bit better quality fish than I did in the last one. So I hope you all enjoy that. I can't tell that secret bait yet. It's not really that big of a secret. Some people throw it, but word travels so fast on this lake. People always are constantly trying to tell me exactly what they're biting, exactly what everybody's throwing. And I'm just not going to put the world on this exact same bait. Because a lot of people from Chickamauga do watch these videos. So I'll tell you all pretty soon, but not yet. But anyways, enjoy this video, guys. Hope y'all like it. See y'all at the end. Another smallie. This is a biggie. I wouldn't say it's actually a big one, but it's a good one. They smoke that little sucker too because they kill it and they kill it. Different bait. Put that one on a little square bill. Different little square bill. That's a keeper. That's my first keeper smallie of the day. Four smallmouth off pretty much one freaking rock. These fish group up here, man. You find me a group about five pounders like that. I mean, freight trained it. I saw there was one hook and I didn't know if it was skin hooked or not and I tried to swing him and it just ripped it out so I should have grabbed him but a lot of times you have that one hook right through the, their nose and it's like the best way to hook them and then sometimes it'd be one hook just skin hooked so that time he was skin hooked and when I tried to swing him I just ripped the hook out so dad gum that was like a two and a half time. crankbaits so obviously there was no secret they are just out here biting that is like my fifth small 
small mouth of the day. Fat little butterballs, like my fifth small one. Catching them. Small on the old square bill. I think that's the most smallmouth I've ever caught in one day. Especially where I'm from, we don't catch very many ever. It's a little one, but hey, it's another smallmouth. this time. They're biting right now. I mean, they are eating today. Had him hooked funny, so he felt that heavy. Just a three pounder, but golly, man. I can't believe how many fish I'm catching. It's fun, man. I love setting the hook. I just love it. See them icicles? And I'm out here fishing. What in the heck? That's how you know you ain't real smart, but for that I'm catching them today. Big, big, and I lose both of them. Dang, gum. Another one on the old square view. Big 
beautiful fish, man. Gonna catch a few more than I'm gonna call it. So every single one of these fish I caught today on all three of the crankbaits were on a seven foot medium cranking rod and 10 pound, 100% fluorocarbon. I do vary it, you know, like on a DT6, I throw like a five to one on a square bill, I throw a seven to one. I don't usually crank with an eight to one, but I usually throw a seven to one for all my square bills. So that's what I caught most of these fish on today was a seven to one Shimano core, 10 pound fluorocarbon, seven foot medium cranking rod, and a square bill. We started out thinking that they wouldn't bite a square bill and that I needed my little secret crankbait. Now it looks like the square bill has caught most of the fish. So that's a small one. That's probably going to be the last one we catch cranking for the day. So hope y'all had fun watching that cranking video. As always, leave a like, leave a comment, hit that sub button. Appreciate it, guys. I'll see y'all out here next time, I guess.